Welcome back. This is Let's Talk Business and my name is Victoria Chabet. And as you have seen, we have had an amazing display of what it means to be a true DJ. And you know DJ Marek from everywhere in Fika as well as in Kenya. And he is a household name and he's a mentor, he's a CEO, he's a dad. All right. And he is going to tell us so much more on how he started and how he is doing as a, um, a person and as a company. So karibu sana DJ Mike. Asante sana. It's, it's so good to see you. Wow, me too. Skumo <laughs> bana. Asante. Really really skumo. Tulikuwa na wewe. Eh hey, mzee, two days na kwa ni kazi siku mingi jo. Inafaa na mtu daily. Sawa <laughs> sawa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so DJ karibu sana. Asante sana. Mm -hmm. So how, how how long have you been DJ? Eh hey, me DJ kutoka 2 2 to 7 to 9. To 7 to 8 or 9 there. Yeah. So it's almost 10 years. Maze. 10 years. In the industry. You must have seen a lot. A lot. So what's the difference between then and now? And uh, then the, the instrument that we are using then and now. Okay. That time we are using the virtual DJs. We are carrying big computers, but these days we are using <laughs> the CDJs. The big computers, you mean you had to carry yeah. the CPU? Yeah, the CPU, the, the, the monitors. Yeah, but these days life is easy. The laptops, mm -hmm. other laptop. Mm. Macbooks. Macbooks. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. The CDJs. <laughs> Let's say the Okay. Uh, so, did you ever know you were going to be like a DJ full time? Yeah, me I loved being a DJ since I was young. Kutoka tuni kumito I loved music. Panda sana kuchokora sana tips za fadhi. Tumako sana sana by the way. But when we grow in mulipazote. So, I loved that kusikia tu ngoma mzuri mm. watu wanasikia poa yani wakisikia muziki poa mm. so nilikuwa nashinda kila wakati nikiwa na kubai records poa nenda nazo high school mm. at least nenda nyenye music na baba wase okay yeah. nani alikusaidia when you were starting eh dj ngama yes eh starting dj it's my cousin eh my cousin tulianza nga tukiwa kama dancers mm. kwa group so mimi nilikuwa na furaha sana nikiona huyo DJ mwenye atuekia songs tuki dance. Mm. So kila wakati nilikuwa ninda pale anaitwa DJ Raj. Mm. Sasa nilikuwa ninda pale anafundisha 1212 but it was virtual. Sasa na learn na learn. So ndio sasa ni kazi yangu. Mm. Ben Ben Adodundo. Ni yeye alinisaidia sana. Okay. Yeah. So I know you have a school, right? Yeah, we have a DJ school. Did you, why did you start the school? I started my DJ school in uh, 20, two, uh, 2014 yeah no 2011 yes Why? that was that was something which was in me mm -hmm. i loved music sasa nitaka pia mimi ni train wengine anyway wa fresh watu venye mimi na fresh watu so nikiona nime train to have train somebody and is doing perfectly the what i'm doing mm -hmm. that was my happiness that was your happiness yes how many students have you had uh, since I started my DJing academy, I've trained 286 students. 286? Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. There's so many DJs out here. Yes. <laughs> Not out here, uh, in Kenya. In Kenya? Yes, and outside Kenya. Wow. Yes. Do they have jobs? Yeah, yeah most of them. Uh, jobs, it depends with somebody. What do you mean? Okay, on a BD, you'll obviously get the job. But see, you train DJ. Because we train DJ, you expect kupata mm. apana. Lazima pia ukimaliza kutrain. Lazima hiyo bidi yako ifanye. You go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ukisema bidi, unamanisha nini? Okay, tukisema bidi, lazima ukue. You know one thing, a, a DJ is somebody who plays music to a crowd. And the crowd, they are clients. Okay. So bidi, ni, you are doing your job the best way. Crowd in a Samatu Mazele on Natakatu DJ Marika come. <laughs> DJ Marika kuja maze show I can tender mm. why? Because Yele Kazuna Fanya. But to kenda two pale una boa say nothing is going on well, mm. kivitu zako maze is called disorganized. Mm. In attack yo to be D. Right. Yeah. So what is the difference between, you know, you being a DJ, just a DJ, and now yes. you're a DJ who teaches students? Yes. Ukienda field. Yes. How do you how do you handle your students and how do you handle yourself? Do you play, <laughs> showcase yourself, and give your students beside? Sometimes it depends with the event. Okay. If we it's a sensitive event, I have to handle it because I don't want to start my customer, oh. my client. 
but nikiwa na my student i believe in you najua huyu kutoka kwa class na field work yote yeye yeah, ako sawa huyu anampatia anga nini chance mm-hmm. anafanya hiyo job so in your school yes. how many courses or units or how long do i have to come and finish like a course uh, at the school uh, two months three months uko poa but mostly na kuangalia one week uko sawa so the other the, the rest of the period mm-hmm. inakuangalia uko umejua kila kitu about DJ first thing you have to learn about songs songs of every person mm-hmm. juu kuna kuna pale utaenda pengine watu wapendi songs za ina fulani so lazima ujua wale watu wanapenda nini sasa hiyo ndio tunaitanga kwa class exposure so tunapatia watu exposure hiyo but DJ one week ule banda kabisa one week anakuwa ameshajua about the beat matching uh-huh. the scratching one week umejua but ile yenye tunapatenga period mrefu ndio mtu ame akoe amezoeana na chenye ana learn uh-huh. amekuwa na skills zote kila kitu amejua uh-huh. amejua wa Somali wanapenda nini uh-huh. not just playing somali yes, song yes. anajua wa kikuyu wanapenda nini yes. waluya wanapenda nini not just putting any song uh-huh. and then kama ni wa kikuyu kuna za church kuna za harusi mm. kuna za za disco so lazima ujue hizo categories zote sio waambie tu leo tuko na event ya Wamasai and you're just going to play unaka ngoma ya Kimasai na pengine uko church mazee mm. nani zile mbo si za church inakuwa tena ni noma sasa hiyo ndio maana si tu si ujaribu kuwapatia time mingi kwa class ili waweze kujifunza all different of songs na wanaenda kuchezea kina nani Right. Yes. So as a DJ do I have to know all types of music? Yes, yes. Really? You have to all of them. Any <laughs> song that comes out today, dunia mzima, you have to have it. Mm-hmm. Because kesho utaitwa event ya wa German, Germans. Hiyo kesho kuto utaitwa event ya wa Tanzania. Wanataka wacheze songs zao. Mm-hmm. What will you do? You are a DJ. Everybody is looking upon you. DJ ni kama roho ya mafan. Yeah. Okay. Just that when you were you know when you were before you started yes. being like your own boss yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what was the most the hardest experience or the most difficult time between that time and when you became like your boss uh, or your own boss okay uh, mostly is also siku means of transport ilikuwa ni ngumu squeeze tuk tuk piki piki ziko tu all over Mm-hmm. Kitambo means of transport ilikuwa ni ngumu sana. Alafu pia eh, customers wa kitambo hawako wanaelewa. Wanaelewa. Eh? Ukimwambia okay, mazee nakuletea CDJ anakuuliza CDJ <laughs> ni nini? <laughs> oh what's that? Eh? Naambia customer ninakulipisha hii because nakuleta nakuja na CDJs, sitakucheza na computer ama DVD. You know kitambo nikianza you are playing with DVDs, two DVDs. So you put CD pande na nyingine pande hii. So naambia customer tumecha namba ya DVD sasa tunacheza na CDJs. Ah okay, sasa hiyo ni nini? Anaambia mm. unajua kumu explain ni ile kitu una chuku chuku hiyo ndio So customers pia ni hard. So anasema eh unamlipisha do mob. Hako an understand. So another things ni unaenda place event. Okay na place event sometimes unapata what you have talked to the client. Hajafanya hivyo. Mimi na place hakuna matebo sana bidi mwanzo kutafuta hiyo place meza meza zile za chai zile fupi hivi na DJ anataka arrange table so ina kwa pia challenges vitu kai hizo mm. yeah all right so the equipment that you have yes. are they expensive eh ha. let me tell you like that uh, rain the the mixer yes. uh, mixer ambayo na jita rain ttm hiyo unaipata na 180000 oh. yeah they are much expensive just the setup bila equalizer na mixers ya DJ ina kwanga 400000 okay. just the setup yo two CDJs the rain and the, the the laptop or the macbook and the stand for the macbook it's like 400000 mm-hmm. na unapata customer anakuambia mzee mimi nataka unifanye event na 2k <laughs> sasa wazee wala shido ejo hey, na event ni how long hiyo sasa anakuambia 2k event hata inaweza kuwa mchana na usiku ama mchana yote ya yeah. mm-hmm. So na shindo hiyo 2K ndi na nunabeti za microphone ama nini nini so sometimes mazee na kwa challenge sana customer nuna ni kama una move charge ni kama unataka kumkulia pesa yake. Okay, could you tell me the margins at which 
we get to charge or you get to charge your clients? Okay, uh, 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 it depends. It depends with the kind of event you have. We really charge depending on the event. Wedding, you have birthday, you have a harambe. Yeah, it depends with the with the event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because not all events they are the same. Kuna zile muzito sana. Alafu kitu kama wedding. Wedding lazima ikuwe perfect. So lazima upeleke client kitu mzuri because hata unia tena. So lazima wende pale umpeleke vitu perfectly. 100% perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And when you charge your clients, yeah. do you ask for a payment before or do they pay everything before you go for the event? Yeah, it also depends on the customer, the way he decides or she decides. Uh, she can decide to pay down payment and then she she pays you uh, the whole amount right. after the event. Okay. So it depends on the villain. So I want to ask a question concerning your company. Yes. You have a company, right? Yes, I have a and company, Bisons Entertainment. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the DJ Marika and he has a company called Bisons Entertainment. And I also want to tell you if you are joining us, please talk to us through our social media handles. Facebook, Focus TV Kenya, Instagram, Focus TV underscore Kenya, and Twitter at Focus TV Kenya. All right, so me, I personally knew B Sound Entertainment through your many CSR projects that you do. Yes. Is it something that is close to your heart, helping out people? My prayer to God, I prayed, God give me wealth to give to your poor people. Wow. Yeah. So that's I really love. I've passed through a lot. A lot, a lot. Right. Ata kula lunch ya kawa wiki mzima ama siku 3 days ya una maybe umekula breakfast peke yake una sapa. Una hasol kwa mijengo, makampuni, unafukuzwa. Unabeba gunia za waru, sokoni. But prayer ile kwa natuma za God nipatie. Pia mimi nipatie watu wako. And that's why you can see, I usually do 34 children homes per year. Wow. Yeah. I know. I know mm -hmm. you do. <coughs> forgive me. I know you do so many projects. Yeah. And they're all CSR. So I, I just wonder, how, how do you then, you know, um, manage to sustain your business when you do so many free? Sure. Okay, about, about the, the children. So mostly, we usually organize with friends. When I started, I studied with, with the company, with members of the company, but other people, the well wishers, were to join. They joined us, na tukanza, saa wanasaidia, penye tunakwama, they really help. We have so many. Squeeze mbaka tunajita to link, so we have so many, so many groups. Even I'm happy Focus TV, they are working with me these days, they are helping me out, so... Dr. Makwa Director, I'm going to thank you so much for your support. I'm sure yeah. she's watching out yes, there. Yes, yeah. And she's so proud. Right, so, you know, when um, the events that you cover, right, now there is the new um, Finance Act 2018. Yes. And the levies are intense, yeah. right, for many companies. How are you, have you changed your rates or how are you planning to adjust as well? Okay, uh, for now, bado to just change because the machines that we are using, yeah. uh, bado ziko. See, atu jamia zingine zinazimu pandisho bei. Lojwa, watu wina uchukuli advantage ya kitu kipanda, kitu kishuka, uchukuli advantage. But, sisi kama B-Sounds, bado to just pandisha. Rates zetu ni vile vile tu. Because the machines, they are the same machines we are using before wa pandisha bei. So, si bado to just pandisha. Na nina hope gava ita, ita rudisha nini chini, at least ndiyo kila mtu wako comfortable. Right. But not soon, atupandishi. Okay. Yeah, so we want our clients to feel comfortable where they are. <laughs> okay, sawa, sawa. Yeah. So how many people do you have in your company? Uh, right now I've employed like 120 guys. What? Yeah. Wow. We have the DJs, we have the dancers. We, in, in, in dancers we have the zangaliwa, we have the acrobats, we have the salsa dancers. We have the Sakata dancers and we have the traditional dancers. Uh, in DJing, we have the DJs who play music for events. And then to Konama MC, we have the road shows MC, hype MCs, event MCs. So our auto and a compile one could be one twenty. Wow, so with your company, it's yes. not just a DJing company where no. you just have DJs. No. You have so many other things to offer. It's a full package of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> so if I had a wedding today, oh. everything. 
everything, everything. everything. We, we don't outsource. Okay. We are not brokers. Hmm? There are people in, in our company. <laughs> we work with them. Right. So, like, your company is quite big, right? It's yeah, like 20 it's, people. So, yeah. what, what's, what's the structure like in your company? Uh, structure. In terms of um, management? Yeah, it's very good. We, I, I have a good manager, uh, Bobby Maps. I have my marketing director, uh, DJ CK. I have my organizing secretary, uh, DJ Lin. I have my personal secretary, yeah. DJ oh. Nifa. Okay. So my officials, uh, we I also have a, a PA, DJ Sharish Fai. And my, my crew now, my members, mm -hmm. uh, right. DJ Tony, we have DJ Dash, we have DJ Top. There are so many of them, so many. Oh, wow. we, we even have the president of the of of <laughs> You have a president. You have a president. Is it you? No, me. I'm the CEO. <laughs> I'm the founder. Okay. The president is the one who controls the everything in the academy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DJ right. Dash. So I want to talk about the academy. Yes. I know that, and I've realized that your company or academy has so many female DJs. Uh -huh. <laughs> is it something you are passionate about, you know, reaching out to women and just empowering them through their gifts? Okay, about, about the women, I think it's sana, especially here in Tika. When you want to be buried, you are Tika town. So my passion is, me feel poor. If I can do something, I can avoid it. At least I can do something, I can get income kwa kwao nasikia vizuri sana so most of the time nikiona wasichana wanakuja kusoma mimi usikia poa sana na I encourage all the parents if you see your daughter anataka kwa DJ wacha kuja train it's a training like any other kuna m, kuna electricians wanawake kuna mechanic wanawake kuna ma train boy the conductors wanawake so even DJ if a female anakuja ku train DJ mzazi wacha kuja train because in dunia sahi life ya sahi hakuna favorizing hakuna kila mtu lazima akwa na tie bidii na anafanya job na ni poa sana kwa sababu female DJs ina motive ina motivate wanaume wacha kulala sasa pia wanainuka <laughs> <laughs> as we wind up, as we yeah. start to wind up to go for our break, so that with your female DJs and the male DJs, is there, should, is there usually like a competition, you know, to just meet them? Okay, in my com in, in my company, I could a competition because we usually do something called team build, teamwork. Okay. We usually do teamwork. All the ladies know, they show the guys. All guys know, they show the ladies. We live like brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So, I could have a competition or anything or... Ata favor is the kazi, we don't favor. Bora una bidi, tunakupatia job. All right. So yeah. DJ Marek, is yes. DJ Marek your name? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> My names are Mark Nicholas. Okay. Yeah, uh, a strong lawyer man. I'm from Western Busia, mm. for new liar. Where I unasikianga kwenye mvua ya chai kunyesha, tunatoka pandeo, natoka pandeo. All right. So yes. I, when we come back, we are going to talk about why DJs get the very catchy news and yeah. what, what's the importance of that right okay yeah. yeah all right we are going on a short break we'll be right back this is focus tv straight to the point